All right, this is awesome. Here we go, back to the book. And this, actually, this section here has gone to group nature. So we've gone from human nature to group nature. Back to the book. Among the commonest of experiences in war is to witness troops doing nothing. Or worse, doing the wrong thing without one commanding voice being raised to give them direction. In such circumstance, any man who has the nerve and presence to step forward and give them an intelligent order in a manner indicating that he expects to be obeyed will be accepted as a leader and will be given their support. Did you hear that? I did. That's all it is. Who's going to step up? Who's going to have the nerve and the presence to step up and give an intelligent order that you believe in and that you believe will be followed on? That that you expect will be obeyed, you'll be obeyed. So again, I hear all these people saying, well, you know, I'm not in the senior position, therefore I can't do anything wrong. Actually, you can. Step up and lead. Back to the book. For this reason, under the conditions of modern battle, the coherence of any military body comes not only of men being articulate all down the line, but of building up the dynamic power in each individual. It is a thoroughly sound exercise in any unit to give every man a chance to take charge and give orders in drill or other limited exercises once he has learned what the orders mean. By the same token, it is good practice for the junior leader to displace a file, that means just one of the guys, to displace a file in a training exercise and become commanded for a time to sharpen his own perspective. So it's good for the junior guys to step up into leadership positions and lead. It's good for the leaders to go and be one of the boys in the platoon. And I got really lucky because I was a prior, what's called a prior enlisted guy, a Mustang officer. So I spent my first eight years in the SEAL teams as a, I was a guy in the, I was one of the files. Mm. So I knew what it was like when a leader didn't tell you what was going on. I knew what it was like when you had a good leader. Yeah. So when I stepped up into those leadership positions, I could, I knew at least what not to do. And I knew what I would try and do to be a good leader. Yeah. It's like the, the curse of knowledge. Right, like you don't curse knowledge is when like you can't see it from some inexperienced person's point of view, oh, you know. Yeah, yeah, and so you don't really have that, you know, because you've been the inexperienced. You can just draw on those memories, you know, to to, to have that perspective, yep. that full. Perspective. I know what it's like it's to good. be the, one of the worst things. When you're at the end of a sixteen man SEAL platoon patrolling through the night, and you just have no idea where you are. You have no idea how far the target is away. You have no idea when you're going to stop. You have no idea. Or you have no idea of anything. You're just walking mm. like a like a miserable boots 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 <laughs> yeah, boots yeah. that's what you're getting the zone of mm. it's just the worst so mm. when i was a platoon commander when i was a squad leader mm. everybody i tried with everything i had to make sure everyone knew what's going on yeah all the time because i never wanted my guys to be thinking what is happening what are we doing yeah yeah that's good Progress comes of making the most of our strengths rather than looking for ways to repair weaknesses. This is true in things both large and small. The platoon leader who permits himself to be bedeviled by the file who won't or can't keep step cannot do justice to the ambitions of the ten strongest men beneath him, upon whom the life of the formation would depend come an emergency to nourish and encourage the top rather than to concentrate effort and exhaust nerves in trying to correct a few least likely prospects is the healthy way of growth within military organization. Take care of your top people. Put your focus and energy in them. And I always, you know, going to give some time to the guys that are struggling, try and help them out, but let's not focus on them. They're not going to make or break you. So those mm-hmm. leaders that you want to you want to develop, you want to you got a good seed that's starting to grow, water that seed. Mm. Don't worry about that thing over there in the corner that's not doing anything. 